Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. Temperatures were in the 30s around midnight. Now we're down into the lower 20s. Temperatures will continue to fall through the day today. Good news is it's mainly dry for the week ahead. Got a system we're watching for the weekend. And as we head on in over the next couple of days, it is going to be a very frigid end to our February. Right now, looking at the records, you take into account of all the temperatures, the highs and lows, and you average out the temperature. Currently, we are sitting as the coldest on record in Harrisburg, but we'll see how that pans out as we head through the next week. I'll tell you, we're going to keep the temperatures very cold and well below average for the next seven days. Here's a live look over York, where the skies have cleared out. You can see the American flag there. Flapping along, it is definitely cold, 21 degrees, but when you factor in the winds right now, sustained at 21 miles per hour, it feels like it's five outside right now in the city of York. Notice the trend of the clouds breaking from northwest to southeast. We also had some flurries earlier in the day over Lancaster County and York County. Those are now moving offshore, and so is the cold front. Now that cold Arctic air is moving on in. We get a one two punch of cold Arctic air this week. First one is pushing in now, the second one gets here later. Tomorrow night. Our high today, 33 degrees in Harrisburg, 33 in York, uh, 32 in Lancaster. Here's where we are now. We're now down to 21 in Lancaster, 20 in Lebanon, also 21 in the capital city, currently 14 in Lewistown, and drops below zero back toward Erie. Winds are sustained out of the northwest, so that cold air will continue to funnel in as we head through the evening tonight. Winds will die down, though, and that's going to allow the temperatures to really cool off overnight. So for today, decreasing clouds. Watching us over Lebanon County, Lancaster County, you may still have some lingering high clouds. But those will break up. Temperatures will be falling from the 20s down into the teens. It's going to feel though like it's in the single digits through the evening. For tonight, though, mostly clear. The winds will die down, and we're dropping back down the single digits. A few spots will be near zero first thing in the morning. Then for tomorrow, highs back up in the mid 20s. Average highs for this time of the year are a good 20 degrees warmer than this. Up near 42 to 43, but most of us are staying in the low to mid 20s. So there's front number one. Front number two is well off to our north and northwest. This cold Arctic air is all thanks to a very large ridge of high pressure centered over the Great Plains. The deep south has been hit by these little weak disturbances, but bringing in some snow and ice. But because of this ridge of high pressure, it's going to stay to our south. It's this system we'll have to watch that's going to bring us the cold air and the chance for a few light snow showers tomorrow evening. So here's a look at the predictor. Watch what happens. We still have strong gusty winds until I'd say midnight tonight. Then the core of the high will be sliding off to our south, and that's going to allow that cold, dry air to just sit overhead and allow the temperatures to fall into the single digits. Then here comes that second shot of cold air. Skies will start to cloud back up as we head through tomorrow evening. And then as we head into early Wednesday morning, here comes the front. But out ahead of the front, the, there's not much moisture to work with, so we're only talking to chance for some few passing light snow showers a late win, a Tuesday night into Wednesday. Then that secondary shot of cold air moves on in and takes care of our weather, control of our weather rather, for the back half of the week. So only high of like right around 22 this afternoon. Temperatures will be falling into the teens during the evening drive time. We'll fall all the way to four. Some spots be closer to zero. We'll make it to near 32 on a Wednesday with the chances for some light snow showers in the pre dawn hours on Wednesday. Average highs for this time of the year, mid 40s, nowhere in sight. <laughs> I was say, where are they? <laughs> That's right, as we close out February. Oh, boy. All right, with a bang, certainly. That's right. Ooh, a cold month. All right, thanks, Ethan. And we're not